If you've purchased a new voice stick or you already have that device and you want to ensure that your device is configured for the best maximum privacy settings, the best data protection settings, and really just the best performance settings, then these are the 10 things I recommend you double check straight away. Now, the first one is if you go over to where it says display and audio, let's click on that. Let's go to the screensaver. Now here personally, depending on your particular setup, I would actually turn the start time of the screensaver to never because I never want to be interrupted by the screensaver whilst I'm using my device. So let's set that to never again. Let's go back. Let's go to audio. Now this again is personal preference, but many people find the noise of the navigation to be very annoying. So if you click here, you can turn off those clicking sounds as you move around the home screen. Let's go to advanced audio. Now, if you find in certain streaming applications, sometimes the volume seems to be very uh, quiet in certain scenes. Sometimes it gets very, very loud. You can actually enable this volume leveler to have a more consistent audio volume. And if you find that the dialogue of your movie, your TV show seems to be also a bit quiet, you can also turn this up to enhance that volume. So again, sometimes you notice that the explosions or the background sound effects are very loud. When people are talking, it seems to be very quiet. Well, turning on the dialogue enhancer will help you have a more consistent audio experience. Let's go back. Now where it says Amazon Photos, let's click there. Now, if you don't use this service, then I would recommend that you turn off the guest connections and also select disabled for access Amazon Photos because Essentially, what you're doing here is, is you're turning off services that you're not using, which in turn will then free up more memory, more CPU cycles on your device, giving you better performance. Let's go back. Let's go to the Silk browser. Now, this is one of the, the bonus tips because lots of people use this browser to access certain streaming content, certain streaming sites. But for example, if you go into privacy and security, so we have the option here, send a do not track request. I recommend you turn that on. That's now done. So this will help with websites trying to track you, trying to monitor you. I'll definitely turn that on. Now here, for example, you have the secure DNS. Now I'll definitely recommend turning this option on because you can actually use this to block adverts on any of those browsing websites. So let's select that. Let's turn that option on. Now where it says use your current service provider, I'll go down to choose another provider, click on that. Now the provider URL I'll put up on the screen and this is the one from AdGuard and using this particular DNS provider means you won't see any adverts on any websites whilst using Silk. So especially those streaming websites which have lots of you know pop-ups, video adverts, very noisy adverts, enabling the AdGuard DNS means you won't see any of those interruptions whilst browsing those streaming sites. So definitely enable that. Let's go back. Now automatic app offload I've covered in multiple videos and this is a new feature from Amazon where if they notice that your device is running low on storage, it will automatically uninstall applications that you've installed from the Amazon App Store. It hasn't, as of today, affected any third party applications. So anything that you download yourself or you sideload, none of those are affected by the app offload. But if you are somebody that doesn't want Amazon to uninstall anything on their device without your permission, I would definitely recommend turning this option off as well. Let's now go over to preferences and the parental controls. You can turn this option on and this is a great way if you want to restrict purchases on your device. So obviously if you have kids in the house, maybe they may accidentally click on something and inadvertently purchase an application on your device. Well, if you enable the parental controls, you can then set a pin code and from that point forward to make any changes on your device and to purchase anything, you have to then enter in this code. I'll leave one off for now. Let's now go to the privacy settings. Let's click on that. So the first one is the cookie consent. So this is basically Amazon asking your permission that can applications leave cookies on your device. And those cookies are then used to track your browsing behavior, your browsing habits, your things that you sort of watch on your device. All of that is done through cookies. So I would definitely recommend for maximum privacy, turning this option off. That's now off. Device usage data. So again, I don't want Amazon collecting anything on my device. I'm going to turn that off. App usage data. I'm going to click on that. Also to turn off because again, the less things that are being collected on your device means that less things are running, less things are being monitored. And that in turn then means you have more memory, more CPU available to do the things that you actually want to do on your device. Interest based ads. I'll also recommend turn that off. So we have the settings like that. Let's go back. 
data usage monitoring. Let's click on that. Again, for both of these, I would recommend turning this off. So the first one we want to turn off, so do not monitor any data usage on my device. This is also a very annoying feature where you'd randomly see on your device, are you still watching? And this is because the Amazon device could not detect your third-party streaming applications. So you may be in the middle of watching something and you then see a prompt asking you, are you still watching something? So I'll definitely go ahead and turn this one off as well. Let's go back. Now the featured content is definitely something of contention because recently Amazon made a change where you now start seeing large scale video based adverts directly on the home screen. In fact, if I just press the home button, these ones at the top here would start playing videos automatically as you can see here. And some of these would be you know, very noisy, some of them may be inappropriate for minors. So all of that was being pushed onto our devices. Fortunately, you can actually turn that off. Going back to the settings, Going back to preferences, click on featured content and where it says allow video autoplay, let's turn that off and allow audio autoplay, turn that off. So you'll still see a banner if you press up on the remote, but you won't hear any audio and you definitely won't see any video on your device. Let's go back. Let's go to my Fire TV. Let's click on that. Let's go to developer options. Now, if you can't see the developer options on your device, maybe if it is a brand new device, then if you go back, Let's click on about, let's click there. Now where it's got your device type, we can see this is my Fire TV Cube. If you press a select button here seven times, one, two, you'll see at the bottom when you do this on a new device that you are seven steps, six steps, five, four, three, two, one, steps away from being a developer. Once you are a developer, as we can see, I'm already a developer. I can now press back and now brings up the developer options, which means I can click on that and I can now turn on ADB debugging if you want to do, you know, side loading from a computer or from another device. But more importantly, I can now click on install unknown apps. And this is effectively what side loading stroke, what people call jailbreaking on these devices is. It just means you want the ability to install side loaded applications. And the way you do that is you click on this and you can now choose any application you have installed on your device. The most common one is downloader you just turn this option to on. And this just means that as you can see here, allow downloader to install other applications that are not on the Amazon app stores. So effectively you've now jailbroken stroke enabled side loading on your device. That's now all done. Let's now press the home button. So those are really the most settings that I will double check on your device to ensure maximum privacy, maximum data protection, ensure minimal data logging, and really just how you can get the best experience on your devices. One other application I would recommend checking out is the TDUK app killer, which you can see here. And this will allow you to force close or properly close any application that you have running in the background with one click. So I can click on that. You can see here that I can make a connection to this device. This presumes that you have enabled ADB debugging. I can go down to count total running background applications. Let's click on that. And it tells me that 31 applications are running in the background right now on my device. Now, if you ever want to confirm exactly what's running in the background, the best way to do that is by using this application, which is free on the Amazon App Store, as well as the Google Play Store, background apps and process list. Let's open that up and we can see here it says 31 applications, 31 user applications are open in the background. And this really is the best way to confirm exactly what's running on your device. Now that we've confirmed that, I can now open up the app killer again, make that connection. Let's just count one more time. We have 31 applications. Now literally within one click, I can say three, two, one, click. It tells me 28 of those applications have been killed. Now, the reason why it's not the full 31 number, it doesn't kill itself. And you can also set up a whitelist, which means any of those applications that you add to the whitelist will never be stopped. And we can see on my device, I've got the app info manager in my whitelist. I've also got film rise in the whitelist. I think I was testing something. I think that's pretty much it. If I go back out now, go to exit. Go back into the background apps and process list. 
And we can see now from 31, we are down to those three applications, my own app killer and the two apps, FilmRise and App Info Manager, which I'd added to my whitelist. So that really is the best and quickest way to quickly close down all of the applications running on your device. And the application, the TDUK App Killer, is available directly on the Amazon App Store as well as the Google Play Store. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.